Hi makers, it's Shelly again from Cato Yarn Company. I'm coming from you on a gloomy Tuesday from Mankato, Minnesota. It started to rain this morning and a quick storm blew through and now it's just gray and dreary, typical spring day. I'm here with Ace, my wonder pup. Come here, buddy. Come and say hi. Say hi. Can you say hi, Ace? Yeah, we have, this is Ace. He's our three-year-old Brittany. Crazy dog. Crazy, crazy dog. I don't think he'll ever adjust to me going back to work full-time because he won't know what to do with himself. Be home by himself all day, won't you? Okay, we're done. How is everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good. We've got a lot going on here in Mankato and really excited to get into the spring um, craft vending fairs and just take it outside and take the dog for a walk. Just enjoy life. Um, my husband and I both have had our first vaccines, our second vaccines we're getting in the next couple weeks. I'm trying to convince a couple of my children to get vaccine, they refuse to listen. Um, but I guess I can't force them, it's a choice that they have to make. Knitting, are we ready? I am. This is my Bright Access tee. What do you think guys? Love the colors. I could fit two of me in here. You know, I'm such a big sock knitter and shawl knitter and I've decided that this year I'm going to learn how to make garments and learn how to make garments better. The knitting isn't a problem, it's the sizing. Here's my first mistake. So, yeah, it's, okay, Ace needs to go away. All right, we're going to scoot in a little bit. Sorry for the shake, but yeah, I'm gonna re-knit this. I, you know, I'm a process knitter, so I really don't have a problem ripping it out other than the fact that I made this beautiful sweater and it doesn't fit, but I do want it to fit. So shortly this will be remade. I think I'm gonna drop it about two sizes and one needle size. It's gonna take forever because I'll be knitting it on threes. I was trying to avoid knitting it on like the real small needles to begin with and I think that was my biggest mistake. So yeah, I've also finished a pair of socks. These are the my matching sock blockers. <laughs> this is all I've had of up here. These are the Wick Elm socks by Potter and Bloom. They've got a great pattern on them. It was real easy to make. And this is just a Knit Picks yarn. Some funky pooling happened when I was knitting it. They're great. They're gonna go into my sock stash, so I'm really excited to have those. Other than that, I've just been working on a few projects. I posted a couple days ago on Facebook that I was going to knit the last two pairs of socks that I had on my needles and call it quits till August. I found two more pairs of socks. So I have four pairs of socks on the needles. My goal is to still work on those socks. Um, two pair for sure I want done. The other two, just gonna let them hang out, but I really, pretty sure I wanna give sock knitting a break for a while. Not that I don't love it, cause I really do. I do have these on my needles with, um, I'm gearing up in June, I'm going to be attending the Zombie Knit Apocalypse. I can't even say it. Zombie Knit Apocalypse Knitting Retreat in Rochester. Uh, something I've always wanted to go to. I was signed up two years or for last summer and then COVID hit. So I was deferred to this year. Really anxious to go. I'm going to go alone. It's going to be so much fun. I just envision myself hanging out in my hotel room with my knitting at night and a movie, maybe a glass of something. And then also during the day taking knitting classes and meeting all kinds of wonderful people. But where I'm going with this is I'm doing a twinning knit along with someone who is also attending and these are my twinning socks just a vanilla sock pattern kind of fun and bright i tried something new on the heel this time where the first three stitches are knit stitches to add this nice little rib or design element kind of liking that it makes it a lot easier to pick up and find your stitches when you're picking up for that heel flap and gusset heel so yeah that's all i have just working on finishing projects that I showed you a few weeks ago. Um, nothing real crazy. I do have some projects down the pipeline because you know I have to keep casting everything on. Um, I did do a little shopping. Of course, it's always fun to see what people buy. 
Have you guys seen the Embody book by Jacqueline C. Slack? She's got the greatest patterns in here. I'm hoping I can find some time this summer to try to make some of the dresses and tops that are in the book. Um, and this is what I love without giving too much away. Um, and she's got such extended sizes. I think there's, I don't know, 12 sizes or so in this book. But she gives measurements for every size. So you can really see, you can see where you need to alter, which is really neat that you can go in and um, measure yourself and she helps you with sizing and figuring out what you need to do to make a garment that's right for you. And I think that's why so many of us like to sew. We like to sew those garments that fit us perfectly and we're okay with having to rip things out or start over because we know what we want. I did buy a little yarn, you guys. I went shopping. If you have not seen the Chelsea Lux or Chelsea Yarns podcast, I started watching their Vlogmas this year and I just love watching Christina and Red Bank Mike with their daily adventures, their chickens, their cooking, their yarn. I just love watching them and knowing that Red Bank Mike is actually from Minnesota, which is a fun connection. So I don't know. I just really like um, watching them. I did purchase her Coop Collection yarns. They're Chelsea hand dyed. This is Megan and this is Degan. And these are named after a couple of their chickens, which I think is so fun. Just love the bright colors. I'm hoping I can come up with some kind of a project where I can knit the two of them together, maybe a fun shawl or probably a fun shawl. Cause I really hate to put these pretty yarns into socks. I mean, socks are fun, but you know how that goes. Okay. Vending season, craft fair and vending season is starting this week. Saturday, May 1st, we're going to be opening up the Hub in Mankato, which is a food truck park. Um, it's a parking lot full of vendors. There's this weekend, I think there's probably, I saw the list. I think there's at least 18 vendors that are going to be there. And I believe food trucks. And in the past, we've had music. So if you're in Mankato on Saturday, make sure you step down from 10 to 4 at the hub on Riverfront Drive. Should be a great time. It's always fun to get out and see velo, what the fellow crafters have for sale and just to see all kinds of people. It's supposed to be like 60 to 70 degrees this weekend in Minnesota, so it'll be a great day. I love doing these vending events, but honestly, I don't like to be cold. So I get really nervous about early season events and it's really nice to know that it's going to be really nice on Saturday dog is to for attention. Also, if you haven't been following me or um, some of what's going on in our community as far as knitting, there is a website that is launching on Saturday, May 1st as well. It is, it is beafreakingunicorn.com and what this website is doing is linking to makers in the making community that um, are, are going to be donating a portion of their proceeds to local LGBTQ um, organizations and supporting them. So I have came up with my colorway 80s goth that I am going to be listing on the Be A Freaking Unicorn website which is a really fun 80s neon. Come on, 1985 people. We had the oranges, the pinks, the greens, the yellows. We had them all. And then this is the sample sock that I knit up with the colorway. So I really got that. I, th I kind of think I did pretty good with the 80s vibe that I remember. So this is going to be listed on the website and $5 from each skein of yarn of the 80s goth colorway sold will be donated on my behalf to the LGBTQ Center at Minnesota State University, Mankato. So I'm really excited to support this organization within our local community. Also, but not listed on their website, but I will have on my own Etsy site, I will be having, um, I've got a couple mini sets. I've got a rainbow mini set. 
and a pink and blue mini set. These are going to be listed on my website with a portion of the proceeds also going to the um, LGBTQ Center and um, at MSU. And I've got some sock blanks, you guys. Have you worked with sock blanks? I have had so much fun dyeing these sock blanks, but I have yet to knit with one. But this is one of the purple ones that I dyed up. And then I dyed up a fall colored one. I was going for that grunge look. This became a little more orange than I, more of a fall grunge that I was going for, but I still really like it. I've got my roller drum colorway back on sock blanks. I've got the speckle. And then I've got the neon rainbow roller drum. I was going to keep some of these for myself to knit up but I'm gonna have to redye them. Have you seen the half and half triangle wrap from Pearl Soho? I know the Caddy Jacks um, web, the, their podcast is doing a knit along and I'm gonna knit one of these. Actually, I'll probably need two or three of them to knit half of the triangle with a really cool like rainbow gradient. I think that'll be really neat. So that's my summer vacation knitting, which I'll tell you more about this summer, but yeah. And then I also have dyed up slub in the pink and blue. And then I also did dye up a couple colorways. This is um, the neon rainbow on the DK zebra. I think this will make one wild and crazy hat. And then I also have a lighter version of it. And the DK yarn is a non super wash. I've got the zebra fingering in the shop but this is the first time I've got the DK weight, so it'll be fun to knit this up. It's, it's a really nice fluffy yarn. Um, it's got that nice 100% wool texture to it. Um, and I love the, the zebra effects. I did start knitting a sweater with the fingering weight and I ended up ripping it out because I, I didn't really care for the pattern, but um, it'd be fun to make some fun warm hats with that this winter. But yeah, this is all I have today. Not much. I, I I do like doing the podcasts. I just don't know how often I'll do them. I just don't really know what I all have to tell you about because all I do is knit, work, and dye yarn. But thanks for stopping by today. Hope to see you out and about if you're from the area. Stop down at the Hub this weekend. There'll be lots of great vendors there with lots of great deals. And be sure to check out the Be A Freaking Unicorn website that launches on Saturday and helps support your local community. Have a great day. Happy making.